So tell us a little bit about the community relevance of street drifting. So there is a diverse culture behind street drifting. Um, you know, they keep it within a tight, tighter knit community, but it, it's a starting point to breed drivers to learn these skills. I think everybody with a car has gone out and messed around on the street corner, industrial area, whatever. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a starting point for drivers. Okay, and what about the general community at large, like the general public? Well, that's just like the awesomeness of it. So drifting can obviously pose a danger to the general community. As much as drivers try their best to do their due diligence to ensure that they're doing it in a way that is safe, um, it's still done on a non-closed course. Yeah, there's a, a lack of, of organized ambulance and medical services. Yeah, no, I mean, no equipment. I mean, I'll, I'll wear my helmet on track, but why would you bring it in the streets, right? Well, I'm hoping with the documentary we'll be able to show that we have great organizations within Alberta, the uh, Specky Drifting Association, the Rocky Mountain Drift Club, uh, organizations that are making track time available more to drifting enthusiasts, and we also have tracks like Castle Raceway that are still open that offer a Friday night street legal drag racing uh, sort of scenario, um, and I'm really hoping that this documentary will be able to show uh, just the general public that, you know, keeping maybe these tax dollars into keeping racetracks open as opposed to police crackdowns is maybe a better way to do it. It's also, you know, boosting the economy in, in its own ways. Um, it's an industry in itself, just like any other business or any other sport, um, you know, there's franchises to be built around the entirety of the thing. So.